in one of our great cities, a learned professor learns how to talk to germs. I thank you. I thank you. <coughs> now watch, all I have to do is to take my magnifying glass, put it over my machine just like this, and here you see old TB himself. TB, you old potato, tell me the story of your life. Okay, Doc. Well, to begin with, my family for generations lived in the lungs of a nice lady. Of course, she didn't know she had tuberculosis. She thought it was bronchitis. Then, one day, some of my ancestors managed to get into the lungs of her favorite nephew, little Peter. Watch how neatly the job was done. Yippee! In he goes. And so I tumbled into Peter's lung. Oh boy, it was pink and cozy. Then presto, you should see how my family grew. Come on, gang. But Peter was young and healthy. His body cells surrounded us at every angle. And just as we began to enjoy our new home, the cells completely surrounded us. They had us stopped. But after Peter grew up, he neglected his health. He studied too hard. He also played too violently. Our first encouragement. Peter lost his appetite. Then one day, old Aunt Matilda came back to town. That kiss gave us the reinforcements we needed. The boom was on for us. <laughs> Finally, they took Peter to a sanatorium. The doctor said to rest. In spite of everything we could do, Peter got well. I tried desperately to escape and made it. So here I am, one of the last survivors. Say, can't you help me to get started again? Why, I'm pledged to wipe out you and all your kind, and here's how I'll do it. Let me tell you about my little friend, Mary. First, the doctor made a skin test, a tuberculin test. In two days, a little red spot showed that germs like you were in her body. And because you were there, an x-ray picture of the lungs was made. See, here's the picture. Now there is a tubercle, just like you made in Peter. And there's some slight changes to the lymph. That is tuberculosis in its earliest stage. And now, Mary has a chance. These medicines will cure her. Rest and fresh air, proper diet, and good health habits. Rest and fresh air. Proper diet. And good health habits. You have science on your side, Professor. I see my finish. <laughs> Thank you.